Welcome to my channel, Catherine the Paint. Today I am doing a, another tumbler. This one is really easy. It's a Buddha temporary tattoo. All the materials used will be listed below. Prior to putting, starting this resin layer, I sanded it and cleaned it and spray painted it. And I will, do not remember the name of the spray paint, but it will be listed below. So I have put down a clear coat and I'm using this blue green to show through as my color. And then I am using two res, uh, two mica powders. One is Rutal silver and the other one is silver gray or gray silver. And those are both from Secura and they will be listed below. So I'm going to do two layers of resin before I put the temporary tattoo on and those are both KS resin art of uh, the liquid art and it's um, it's really good resin it has a good uh, viscosity but um, at the end I'm using their their liquidy split and it's a fast curing and so you'll see that at the end so I did one layer with the Rutal silver and the silver gray and the silver gray I felt kind of took over a little bit plus there was a little bit more blue than I wanted to have showing so I am actually going to go ahead and put a second layer on before the temporary tattoo so in total this cup has three layers of resin so which it turned out real smooth and I really like having about three layers so so for the second coat I just covered it with clear and then started putting down just the the Rutal silver so that did lighten it up and I was really happy with it after that so the sped up parts are sped up eight times that's just to show you the process without having to be here forever because it takes a little while to get this stuff on the tumbler so if you guys could please subscribe and hit the notification bell it really helps out my channel thanks so much okay so i sanded this down after the last um coating of resin and i'm going to put this temporary tattoo on here ready to do that so I'm just taking the plastic part off and I looked at the different sides and this is the side that I want covered with the tattoo so let's see so here's the top here's the bottom so I want to place it so that it's where I want it on the cup Well, it touched down. I hope it's in the right place. <laughs> yeah, because you cannot lift up. Do not lift up after you have touched it because you will mess it up. I have not done it, but I've heard about it. I've heard it's bad. And I do not want to experience it. These tattoos are not cheap, especially the big ones. So you don't want to lose one. For sure. So I have a little bowl of water and a rag and I'm just dipping it in there. I'm not squeezing it off or anything. I'm getting it really wet. I like to get mine extremely wet. And then just rub it over it. It doesn't matter if you get it too wet. There's no too wet. So I'm going to let it dry before I put the next coat of resin on it. So I'm just trying to get the bubbles out, make sure that it's on here good. All right, I saw a couple of bubbles under the, 
Yeah, I'm just gonna have to move it. It's sliding now. Let's just go ahead and, there we go. I have never had bubbles under them before, but I do see a couple bubbles. I'm gonna try to push that out. Oh, yeah. You can just push it out. There we go. All right, I'm gonna let it dry and then we're gonna add a little bit of glitter to it before we put on the top coat of resin. Be right back. All right, I have decided I'm gonna add this little bitty bluish teal colored blue green star. Let's see if you can see it. Um, temporary tattoo. It's really small. I'm gonna put it in the back in the center right there so i've got my finger where i want to put it so i can't so i have to do this one-handed so you guys bear with me all right all right the flat edge right there is going to be in line with the bottom of the cup and we are going to place it right there all right Yeah, so um, I've started kind of collecting, like I needed something else to collect. I started collecting temporary tattoos. So I've got several packages of just different stuff. So this one came off of this page. So it was a sun and they're mostly gold and then some of them are silver and a little bit of blue. And it has some sea stuff in it, like turtles and jellyfish and stuff like that. But it just happened to have these, and I thought that little star would look really good on the back of here. So, it's such a quick, easy little thing to do, and it just adds something to the back of the cup. There we go. Alright, so I'm going to let this dry, and I'll be right back. All right, so we're gonna put on our final coat, and I wanted to show you guys, this is the KS Resin, the Liquidy Split Ultra UV Epoxy, and it only has a 15 minute working time. So part one, uh, part one to one. And this stuff is really good when you're working fast, and it sets up, you can do a second coat in two hours, you, it's dry to the touch in three to four hours and then a full cure in 24 hours. So it really cuts down on the working time or on the time that it takes for your product to be ready. So let's get going because I've already got it mixed up. So... I am excited for this one. I might have to do another coat, but I don't think so. I think it's going to be good with just the one coat. So. I sanded it down before I put the tattoos on there. So I am just going to make sure that this is covering it really good all over. And then I will hit it with the heat gun just to pop the bubbles and we will be done. Yeah, so I was telling you guys that I have started collecting the temporary tattoos. I just love to browse like Amazon and Etsy and actually I've gotten some stickers and stuff and tattoos off of people that are 
artists that are creating on TikTok. So, and even if I don't know what I'm going to do with it, then it <laughs> gives me a whole stack. I'm starting to get a stack where I can just look through and see if one of them will go with something else I'm working on, like this Buddha. Then I got these mostly ocean tattoos and then that star I was like that would go good I think on the back of that I just like to put a different like a unique touch on the back so just have fun with it the possibilities are endless truly so I mixed up 30 milliliters of for this and I think that's going to be maybe a little too much maybe 20 would have been enough I'm not sure This time I wasn't really worried about it because I have another project that I need a little bit of resin for, so. But yeah, I think 20 milliliters would have been fine for this. Make sure you get your bottom covered really good. So now I'm going to hit it with the heat gun. Just trying to pop any bubbles that are there, not trying to heat up the resin and move it around any. Make sure you hit the bottom with it too. And then we are going to leave it spinning. I'll probably go ahead and leave it spinning for three hours. It might not need it since this is the liquidy split, but when it's just the top coat, I don't babysit it. I just put it on, come back later. All right, guys, I'll be back when it's done. All right, check her out. Completely finished, ready to go. I will be posting this in my Etsy store today. Look at the little star. Isn't that pretty? I think it has just the right amount of blue. I'm loving the two silvers with this tattoo. So you guys, um, looking for inspiration. What would, what would you guys like to see on a cup? Do y'all have any ideas that are in y'all's head that you want me to try or that you're going to try? Let me know in the comments below. This cup making thing is so much fun. I didn't think I ever wanted to do it and I love it. You should try it. Thanks so much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Be inspired.